Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brood War Ladder Cast. We're going to be taking a look at Rich versus Shiny today. Just a single game for this video. Uh, I played on stream ladder for about six hours. I didn't make too much progress, but um, it's not really the goal of my ladder streams recently. Uh, I picked a build and I practiced it a whole bunch and then we took it onto ladder and, and tried it out and I think that's a good way to learn so uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for upcoming streams and just learning as many new builds as I can just filling up that arsenal so that I can uh, continue to improve but since I'm a little bit tired now we've uh, done so much streaming today just a single game i found from seawall.gg this one was actually recommended by dude nerd and uh it's gonna be like i said shiny versus rich shiny and rich are both extremely strong ladder players uh shiny not allowed to participate in ASL. Rich is, I think, ACS contender. He's played quite a bit of ACS. We've seen on this channel many different series between either Shiny or Rich uh, going up against strong uh, ASL level opponents, professional gamers, but we haven't really seen them up against each other yet on this channel. So, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at this highly recommended game between these two ladder monsters as a way to end off this day, uh, which has been just full of StarCraft. Yesterday, I did a cast of uh, the CKW. That was also a very long cast, so two very long days of Brood War in a row. Not that I'm complaining. It was a great series, about three hours long. Two best of sevens and an ace match. Pretty intense for the CKW. Basically a pro league in its own right, but I digress. We're getting into this game now. Single factory. I'm gonna be finishing up here on high ground. Rich is getting into his range. Not doing anything crazy. Skipping range and going for a robotics facility is not as crazy as it used to be. It used to be a little bit wild, but these days it's kind of acceptable. A lot of players will uh, opt for that build order. Try to get the Reaver out a little bit faster, although it does leave you kind of susceptible to some pressure plays in the early game. There's not a whole lot that Terran can do between the time when you have a few Dragoons and you're waiting for that range and when the Reaver pops out. So, just going to poke at that front. Has one Dragoon back at home. Cannot be chasing with this Dragoon. Otherwise, he might get a Vulture into his main. You can see that Shiny was ready for it. He was hoping that this Dragoon would chase that SCV and Vulture could slip by for some damage, but not the case. A little bit surprised to see Rich leave his first Dragoon out across the map. You know there's a Vulture out there and we'll likely see Mine's upgrade finishing here in a moment. Seems like he just has it in his head exactly the timing for this. Finishes off the SCV. I was trying to get the scouting, uh, the scout of this Nexus. And you can just see, look at this. Mines is finishing up. And he's going to retreat back home with that Dragoon just at the perfect time. Little pressure play coming out of Shiny. Three Marines and a tank. Vulture's going to be rallied to the front. What is the next upgrade he'll start? I imagine it'll be speed. Mine's getting laid. Shiny is pushing forward. 
Just a probing push to see whether or not Rich has range. And what units are going to come out to challenge him. He lays down some mines. Going to go ahead and head all the way back home now. Has control over that third base. We'll know when that gets taken. Second gateway coming up for Rich. And Shiny. Everything's been going well for him so far. He's got his engineering bay on the way. Will it be in time to deal with this Reaver? That's going to pop out in a moment. It just now starts after the Observer. Looks like he's going to prioritize the Observer. Getting that out. And pushing back the mines. So that he can quickly grab that third base. Shiny just sitting back at home. No mines in his main just yet. But he's going to start some turrets. Now clearing out the mines. Two dragoons in this wall. Making sure that the vultures can't slip by. Try to lay down a mine. Try to jump over top of these dragoons. Nice targeting there on the mine. Will not allow that to happen. But a good attempt. It's uh pretty necessary to at least give that a try. Every once in a while there will be a lack of dragoons in that wall in. And suddenly you get a lot of damage. So... No hate to Shiny for trying that out. Unfortunately, it won't net him any damage. He loses a Vulture for free. He's keeping this pressure on. Right up here in the front. It's a little bit scary. There's almost nothing back at home. Just a couple of turrets. Not even a turret in the natural either. So, if the shuttle goes across the map, it could deal massive damage. But at the same time, he might need that. To block this attack. It's likely to come in from Shiny. Moving over here towards the third base. Going to set up tanks. These tanks are pretty close together. And if he drops the Reaver. In between these. He might be able to get a big shot off. Oh. One good shot there. Picking off a tank. Nicely done. Reaver does take some damage. But. Trading a little damage on the Reaver and a single Vulture or a single Zealot. Not a bad. Oh, he cancels. He cancels the Nexus. Right at the very end of that build time, he decides to cancel and definitely Chinese should head home. No reason to stay and lose all your units. If the Nexus is just going to be given up, this is fantastic news for Shiny. Rich is going to send out another probe. Try to retake that. But he is way behind the curve at 8 minutes 30. Trying to throw down a third base. This has gone very, very well for Shiny. We're going to need some sort of compensation. Some sort of damage into the Terran base. We want to find a way back into this game. Vultures are coming up, but Reavers, excellent defensive tool against that. Dragoons are going to push out and slowly clear the map of mines. Well, meanwhile, back at home. Good setup of tanks inside this main base. Natural is covered as well. Goliaths are starting to come out. Getting his second machine shop on the way. And it appears that Rich just wants to take a quick fourth. Going directly into four bases. Trying to catch up economically after losing that third base. But it's going to be rough. Shiny will have a very nice timing. Six factory push timing. Where he might be able to bowl Rich over. I'm not, I'm not seeing the... Oh, there it is. Looking for that armory. It's over here in the natural. Rich pushing forward. Again, clearing mines. Still has a good number of probes. He didn't lose any probes at that third base. Just lost the build time out of that nexus. And whatever it costs to cancel. No damage on the side of Shiny so far, but that's about to change. Three shuttles. Already 
to dive this main base. Is he going to go for it? The main is looking pretty well locked down. I'm not sure that this would go well for Rich if he tried to dive in there. Maybe going to wait for the push to come out. Or this third base to start. Let's see a CC in the production tab just yet. But it's likely we're going to see one of those soon. A few tanks out in the front. He's going to pull most of them out of the main. The main looking pretty bare, but with the mines. Kind of well defended at this point. The triple shuttle still waiting over on this right hand side. Waiting for that opportunity to arise. Rich is going to wait until this army moves into position. Oh, is he going to dive the main? He's diving right past this army as is moving over to the third base. Going to drop Zealots. And here comes that Reaver shuttle now dropping on top of the tanks. Has to drop the Reaver out once again. That Reaver has taken a lot of damage. He's going to go for the kill on some of these. Oh, that mine. Thought he was going to go for the tank there, but... Everything gets cleaned up pretty well held By shiny he lost some SCVs he lost a tank or two or he lost uh, uh, Yeah, he lost the one tank that was sieged up there. So Some damage was done, but I would say rich in a really tough spot at this point in the game Shiny moments away from clearing this one out to be setting up mines just above this nexus with a very nice position it is so hard to break into this from either direction coming from this direction or this direction very nicely placed turrets for goliaths in the mix as well to just snipe down these uh, shuttles that might try to dive in it seems that rich is preparing to eventually swallow up this army but I'm not sure if you'll be able to. Yeah, quick hasty retreat from Shiny. Gonna back away and start to move in the direction of taking this third base. He's been very slow about taking that so far, but it seems like he's ready now. After denying the third base twice, he will be snagging that. Coming into the natural, there's really not much defense over here. Oh my gosh, big hits with this Reaver. Getting quite a few kills. I can't see how many here just yet. But I would say it's at least seven. Going after that armory. Not going to be able to get it though. Second armory is on the way right now. A few vultures. Picking away at this pylon, not going to be able to get in there and deny the base in top left. Long overdue though, this top left base. We actually need to transfer some probes as well. The Nexus is getting pretty close to finish, so transferring to the top left. Not a lot of probe saturation at this fourth base either. Fourth base is looking pretty low on workers overall, but 62 total in the game. So he's going to mine out very quickly in his main and natural. Had a bit of oversaturation there for quite some time. Tanks are set up nicely now. Those probes will make it safe and sound over to top, top left. The three base play from Shiny's looking strong. 158 supply already. As Rich closes in on that max out. Four Templar in this shuttle. Could Rich possibly bust through here? Would that be a good option for him? My feeling is no. I don't think that this would be a good idea to try and dive through. 
but he might feel like he doesn't have a choice at this point. Oh boy. Mines connecting on a lot of these dragoons, softening quite a few of them up and killing three. Where is the observer? Oh, so painful. Dropship heading around the left-hand side of the map. He's gonna try and drop just out of range of these cannons. Start to deal some damage at this fresh base. Could be a, a nightmare for Ridge. Considering he doesn't have much on this high ground. He's making one DT. That can help out a lot. Templar. Also going to be useful. Just casting some storms to get rid of some of these tanks. But the tanks are going to deal massive damage. Seven kills on this one. Does finally go down. But the Templ Templar are lost. Which is quite uh, annoying. And these vultures are going to get in. With the cannon down. We'll get huge damage out of this scrappy little drop causing a lot of chaos for Rich to deal with and the supply continues to rise getting into EMP and on Rich's side scarab damage is on the way so we're getting into the very late game stages funny to see so many players going for scarab damage uh, after Snow kind of pioneered that style. It does seem to be strong though. And watching Rich adopt this style of play, I wonder if it's actually just good. And it's not only Snow who can make it look good. But it may actually be uh, just outright strong, downright good in the late game to go ahead and get that upgrade. Rich is going to go ahead and retake this for the third time. That's the closest base for uh, pushing. Shiny may end up targeting that location once again. Although, he's starting to run out of minerals in his main and natural. So moving out to take this space, down at bottom center, is probably going to be the priority. At least for now. Moving forward, looking for some storm. One good storm on these tanks. D Matrix a little bit late there from Shiny. Slowly pushing out. 18 minutes on the clock. This is quite a slow push from Shiny. Been kind of waiting around for quite some time. Just slowly push forward. Good storm there on the front line. Drop in the back of this base. Once again, DT going to be sent to deal with that. But quite a few probes could end up going down. He's hiding them on the assimilator for now. Slowly pushing forward. Shiny looking for the good engagement. Rich is going to pull the trigger. Here we go. Diving on top of everything. Storms are going to be spammed out. So many tanks in the back line though. Look at that wall of tanks. If you try to advance any farther forward, it's going to get eaten up and the supply tells the real story in this game. 158 to 150. Snapping down some Templar. We'll eat that storm once again, but there's really no way for Rich to continue pushing back this army with so many tanks and so few Dragoons. No Zealots. Uh, available right now so unlikely he'll be able to s prevent this fourth base he's gonna try though move forward with a few storms but his templar are gonna get picked off and the dragoons are now quite low in number can he get a storm on the incoming SEVs? that would be huge right as everything's transferring is when things are the most vulnerable dt's coming in they'll be it scanned and pushed back this shuttle making its way around the left hand side looking for big storms on huge clumps of workers and there will be massive clumps of workers at this fourth base in a moment most of the 
62 workers that remain are going to be at that base in just a second. No transfer over to this base just yet for Rich. He's being a little bit slow with that. Going to dive in with the shuttles now. Two Reavers. Looking to get some damage, but actually getting cleaned up very efficiently. So far, that Reaver Scarab. Oh, here we go. That Scarab upgrade not working out too well for Rich. Can he get this big... Storm drop though Big storm drop right now. It may not win the game, but it would definitely give rich a leg back up over shiny It could certainly use a win right now diving in. Let's see how it goes. He's so far behind in supply You can see the supply just plummet as so many SCVs go down This was about a 10 to 20 supply deficit for Rich and now look at how the tables have turned 44 SCVs total Remain in this game 66 probes still hardly mining at this fresh base, but Looks like he's getting some probes to that location slowly, but surely As gateways in top left Could be thinking about moving towards bottom left as well um maybe there was an attempt at a drop over here once again but it doesn't look like it came to fruition no SEVs were killed in that fight and dropship's gonna make its way back home more SEVs coming out the tank line is very scary that's so many tanks Incredibly hard to engage an army like this, especially when it's fully spread out as it is right now Rich gonna send some zealots down to bottom left Try to prevent that base While defending back at home, where are all the units? There's a few dragoons moving forward. We've got some Templar with their storms gonna cast on quite a few of these tanks Pushing them back for now at least out out of range of this Nexus Rich gathering his forces Doesn't actually have anything in this shuttle so can't really uh, execute more Harassment damage to that base for now One tank in range of the Nexus is killed Keeping the tanks from just hitting that Nexus is enough for now. Gotta pull all the resources together if he wants to take one fight against these tanks. Gonna come back in for another storm drop. Can he kill every worker over here once again? Great storm on a lot of these retreating workers, but it doesn't kill that many. Robes are gonna be pulled out. Trying to buy some time for these... Templar to get their storms off Does get some pretty decent storms, but this push is looking scary 3-3 three, three on these tanks and Rich is gonna have to give up this base Not the optimal outcome he would love to keep that base alive shut down this army and push everything back But it seems like the position is a little bit too good On this bridge he's gonna come in with three shuttles. So let's see if he can clear it it is after oh one shuttle goes down not sure which one that was maybe the one with reavers in it although he can't be sure the one with storms at least was saved rich maybe gonna retake this base in center left shiny being very slow and methodical in the way that he's pushing he's almost out of money at his third base so he needs to get moving now he tried to take bottom left. He has a CC floating down there. He's slowly going to push forward now. Some storms thrown down on the front line. An EMP goes off, although I don't think it hit any of these Templar. Another dive into this base. Can he get some storms off? One storm. Oh man, that storm was actually cast, but it didn't uh, materialize. And so no more damage over at this third base. Back up to 60 SCVs. So many of these are damaged. 
one storm could kill nearly every SCV at that base uh, if they happen to be on the same patch. Tanks pulling up to 12 o'clock. Trying to break through there. There's not a lot of money left at 12 o'clock, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. Some storms come down. But it looks like you will be able to push through. At least for now. Rich not going to be able to stop this push towards the north. He's instead moving around the side. He's got a huge bank of 4,000 minerals, 2,000 gas. He has air weapons on the way, so there might be a carrier transition coming. We'll have to see. This army in kind of an awkward position. It's denying the bottom left from Shiny, though. Shiny does need to get another base soon. He's out of money over at his third. Rich gonna push forward. Take out a few tanks, kind of somewhat for free. Losing only a couple of Dragoons and some Zealots. It's a great trade at this point in the game. Very hard to get trade le trades like that. Another drop into the main. Oh, the EMP is so sick. Those EMPs were insane. Absolutely denying this storm drop. Again, not able to get damage on this, pro this SEV line. But Shiny is being considerably slow. He is very much not wanting to push in to his opponent. Preferring to take his time. And Rich is going to slowly pick off little groups of tanks here and there. With some storms, he's going to continue to deny this base down in bottom left. Rich is mining off of... I guess one base, two base. Nothing really going on at the main. Four carriers are on the way. Oh, wow. Here's those Stargates. He's banked up enough minerals and gas where he can, from what he's mined already, pump out maybe six carriers. And if he continues to mine in top left and hold this high ground, then maybe he can get those six eight carriers whereas shiny i mean he just doesn't have much mining guys he's completely maxed out he's building a whole bunch of tanks time to cancel some of these get goliaths in production because we are about to go into a carrier transition i don't think he has any idea for the time being that this is coming because otherwise we would see a bunch of goliaths being made He's stuck at 193. He can't make even a single Goliath for the time being. Losing a few tanks. Now he's got some open supply. Will he start to make Goliaths? Pure Vulture and Tank coming out of Shiny. And although he's breaking the space, and he may in fact kill this Nexus, the carrier transition is well underway. We're slowing things down with zealot drops and rallied units slowing this down for days as shiny tries to push in some storms get thrown down just complete delaying action nothing but delays here for shiny he's finally gonna get up here and maybe kill this base but look at how many carriers already we've got four and three more about to pop out going after the nexus and the probes can't wait too long before revealing these carriers but he will have to reveal them soon can't wait forever hasn't really seen much of the protoss base for quite some time waiting for a counter attack over towards his six o'clock almost no money remaining is he going to have any money to make Goliaths when the carriers come out? I feel like the answer is no. 900 minerals? How many Goliaths can he make with 900 minerals? Aren't they 150 or 125 each? 
can't even make 10 Goliaths to deal with all of these carriers. And he's running super low on these minerals. Can he go out? Oh, he's scanning. He's scanning. He's looking for it. But he's not scanning the main base. And so he's continuing to not build many Goliaths. Okay, now he finally starts some Goliaths, but... Only one in the production tab that I can see. Well, these, uh... Vessels do need to get out of this area. It's a pretty nice EMP on the Templar and the Archon, so that'll go down pretty quickly. Tanks are going to siege up on high ground. He's going to clear this army. Oh, one more storm. Even another Templar in this shuttle, so that's going to be annoying. How many carriers do we have? Now with eight carriers, he's going to finally pull the trigger. This is the only mining that's available to Rich right now. 900 minerals in the bank. Oh, he's not even going to pull the trigger yet. He's on eight carriers. But still not going to come out on this map and try to fight. Okay, finally he's going to move. Coming out with the carriers now. Plus two is done. No plus three on the way. One more carrier about to pop. He's got a thousand minerals in the bank. Enough to continue to make... Interceptors for a while, but not forever. Needs to get more income going in a very short period of time, or he's going to be out of luck. Shiny is looking around for hidden bases all around the map. I think he was just scanning. I'm not sure what he was scanning for. But he's about to be surprised by all eight carries. I don't know how. Shiny didn't see this coming. But it really doesn't seem like he knew about this. Starts immediately five Goliaths. Gonna try and pump those out as quickly as possible. Here we go. Goliaths on the left-hand side. They're gonna get picked off immediately. Bunch of turrets being made. Desperation turrets in this bottom left. As the science vessel. Looks like he got the EMP off. Pushing across the map. As this is going on, 1,600 minerals in the bank. And so, can still make interceptors for a while. But, there's going to be no more income here for Rich. Rich has nothing coming into his bank. So, I'm a Dragoon's heading over to top left. Maybe to clear that out. Try to get another base going. Tanks being gunned down like crazy. He's getting so much value out of these carriers. Plus three is on the way. Kind of incredible that he's able to spend that money right now. I'm gonna lose this last CC. I think it might be lights out for our Terran player. Shiny not gonna be able to hold on against these carriers. The carriers are way too strong. And although he played a great game, the carriers, it seems, will take the day. Tanks over here on the left-hand side are going to be picked off. The Goliaths just, they, they can't do anything. This is way too many carriers. Down to his last 100 minerals. He's mining in bottom left, but he won't be mining for long. Carriers can clear all of this out. And it seems that Shiny will have to leave this game. Man, what a bummer for the Terran player. He really thought that there was no transition coming. Oh, I slowed down the game again. Go ahead and bring that back up to fastest. Carrier sliding in to this base. What do we have? 12 Goliaths and a dream. Quite a few tanks in this army still. He's popping, pumping out just two more Goliaths. There's no income. There is no income for Rich, but he's got 1,800 minerals in the bank. He can still make interceptors for a very long time. He hasn't been mining for an infuriatingly long period, but... With only four probes left, what can you really mine? 
Seven kill siege tank making its way into the main base. Gonna try to pick off the few remaining probes. There's like hardly any probes at all. If he kills all the probes and the nexus, then I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen in this game, guys. This is getting weird. SCVs. Gonna be sent to long distance mine. What do we have here? Like 400 minerals total? You would think he would send them down. Okay, sending them all down here. Into bottom left. Does he have a CC remaining? He does, but he doesn't want to give up his ability to scan. Ooh, mine connection there. Taking off a few Dragoons. The ground army is dismal at this point, and the tanks are going to be sent up to top left to just kill that ground army. One less thing to worry about, I suppose. Once that's been killed, he only has to think about these carriers and how he's going to stop them from killing his base. CC is floating out from the main. These dragoons will go down in the end. They managed to pick off one last tank, but that is all she wrote for the dragoons. The carriers are getting a lot of work done. They have 1,500 minerals left to continue to build interceptors. But he can't really build anything else. He's got 10 carriers. Some of them have been badly injured. We do have a science vessel. You can throw down EMP on the carriers. If the interceptors are floating behind as well and you get an EMP on this, you can hit the interceptors with the EMP. I'm um, not sure how many... Oh, here we go. EMP. There's the EMP. It's a pretty good one there. Picks off a carrier. Botting these in the middle of the map. Pretty good stuff from Shiny. Going after one carrier. Can he go after another? He's just fighting interceptors right now. Doing a pretty good job of it. Tanks are heading through the bottom of the map. Or through the left side of the map, excuse me. Looking for Sanctuary at the bottom side. They're not going to find much. But a few Goliaths are here, but the tanks are going to go down. At the end of the day, the tanks are no longer really necessary in this game. So losing them, not a huge loss. Running forward here, trying to get a couple more hits. Oh, there's, there's still a few Dragoons, actually. Never mind. There are a few Dragoons littered around. How many did we make? Six Dragoons total. Six Dragoons does a lot against a pure Goliath army. SCVs are mining once again in bottom left. One more tank going to be made. Pretty wild at this point to continue to make tanks. The Goliaths are coming up. Dragoons are going to help out a lot. He's targeting down one Dragoon. The Dragoon falls. Going after another one of these carriers. One carrier goes down. Another carrier. Can he pick it off? He cannot. GG is called. Rich takes this one home with the massive bank. That's really all you need. 1,600 minerals and 10 carriers. Can take down a Terran player who doesn't know you're making that transition. Shiny. He was so far ahead. I can't believe he didn't just burn a couple of scans to figure out what was going on. As he was killing top left, especially. I think he was expecting Rich to tap out. But you gotta keep your scanners rolling. Gotta keep checking for your opponent's transition that carrier number got way too high before he ever knew that it was happening he also failed to take more bases in the bottom left while he was attacking into top left he had the army kind of pinned down he had mines all throughout the map but i feel like he got complacent and everyone who's played brood war knows this feeling that you know that you're gonna win or you at least feel like you know you're gonna win and so you start to slow down. You start to take the game less seriously. You start to relax a little bit. And then things start to spiral out of control. 
It's one of the worst feelings to have in a game of Brood War, but one of the best feelings is when you get underestimated, when your opponent thinks that you're out and you are kind of down and out and you manage to bring it back. Comebacks are insanely, insanely enjoyable and fun when you can pull them off in Brood War specifically. Love to see it. Rich takes this one home. Carriers, man. Is there anything more broken than the carrier? How many kills on each of these? 12, 12, 11, 11, 13, 16, 7, and what's this last one? 7. Now well, this one I can't check because it's building an interceptor, but GG, guys. Hope you enjoyed this game. It's been a long day for me, so I'm going to sign off. I'll see you guys tomorrow.